Hey everybody, welcome into this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. It's all about video editing today, and I want to talk specifically about creating ending credits or like those rolling credits that you see at the end of a video. You can use it on your videos, your films, whatever you want to do. Probably really films. I mean, who cares about just a little YouTube video you make? Uh, but hey, maybe. Why not, right? It's pretty easy to do. Um, we're going to try to create like a nice clean uh, little rolling credit, and I just want to say like – I think the key to achieving good looking credits is a combination of having them rolling at the right speed and maybe more important than that, picking a beautiful and high quality font. Don't try to go over stylized and please stay away from the built in effects that Premiere Pro provides. They're pretty bad. Let's take a look at how to do this in Premiere Pro. What you want to do is I've got this just one little eight second clip just as a complete example uh, here in Premiere. And what we're going to do is go title, new title, default role. Now, you can convert just a normal title to a rolling title as well, but we're just going to do this right out, right out of the gate. A default role, go ahead and hit that, and uh, Premiere is going to say, hey, new title, set to the width and height and time base, everything of your current sequence, great. I'm just going to call this ending, something like that. Hit OK. You're going to see it's going to throw this new ending title here into my little bin folder. That's great. Now, I should also mention... Maybe this is only on my computer here, but I've noticed since like two updates ago in Premiere, particularly when, when working on titles where there's a lot of text, Premiere likes to crash a lot. And especially also I've noticed when you're trying to use uh, hotkeys, like just like Command or Control C to like copy and paste something, Command or Control C, Command or Control V. Premiere will crash. So I usually try to stay away from hotkeys, number one. And number two, uh, save a lot because it's really annoying if you set up all of your credits and then boom, it crashes and you lose everything. Oh, um, it's kind of annoying. But yeah, just something to keep in mind. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to – well, actually, before we even add any text, I should take you over to text edit where I have all of my credits written out. So I basically divide it up by like here. This is going to be a column of directed by, written by, produced by, so on and so forth, and then all of those people's names, right? And then casting. This will be sort of like a center balanced thing, and then we go into the cast. Uh, so all these people, and then here all of their real actor and actress names. And then we just go through our crews where we have our camera people, our audio people. I have these people lined up. You can see I have their names right next to uh, sort of their title. And you're going to see why in just a little bit. But I've, I've lined everything up just the way I want it. And then down to special thanks, we're going to break it up again um, with kind of all the titles and then all the names. You're going to see exactly how all this works. But I have it all listed out as the text. That's kind of an important step. It helps save a lot of time. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're just going to grab this first chunk of text right here, directed by, written by, so on and so forth. Commander Control C to copy copy that. Now, incidentally, I can't actually paste in. It, it will allow me to paste in like the initial text without crashing. So that's good. That's a, that's a good time saver. All right, I'm going to grab the text tool here, and I'm going to use the kind of built-in guides that Premiere uh, gives us, and I'm going to drag a text box from here to kind of the center mark. So it just, it doesn't have to be perfect, just a nice little rough uh, text box like so, just like that. And I'm going to hit Command or Control V, Command or Control V, I should say, to paste all that in. Great. Um, now I'm going to select the text box. We're going to apply our initial settings to this. So the font I'm looking to use is called Josephine. Uh, it is a free font. You can grab it from uh, fontsquirrel.com. Uh, it's a free font. Just look it up, Josephine, and you should be able to download it. Uh, I'm going to set it to bold. Now, I do want all of my text to be capitalized. There's a couple ways we can go about doing this uh, in Premiere and outside of Premiere. Number one, you could type everything in uppercase. But if you have somebody else doing it, likelihood is it might not all be capitalized. So you could do something like use this website called convertcase.net where you paste in text and you just hit uppercase. Boom, everything's converted, and then you copy and paste that. However, there's an easier way to do it. Uh, you can just select your text here in Premiere, and you can tick on small caps. Now, when you do this, everything is going to be capitalized, but everything is kind of small capitalized. So all you need to do is change small cap size to 100%, and then all of your text is going to be capitalized. So that's a nice little trick here uh, when you're working on text in Premiere. Now that I have that, I want to set the size. Not I don't want to have it at 100. I want to have it at 25, so much smaller. And then I want to increase the leading here, sort of the, the line height, if you will, to 10. So we get some nice space. And then I'm going to align this to the right. So boom, there we go. Now I sort of have it lined up in the middle. Great. And because I know that I'm going to have titles on, over on this side of my uh, my credits, I'm going to go back over to my text edit, and I'm going to jump down here to casting, and I'm going to grab Jackson Casey and so on and so forth, grab all those names, and then I'm going to double-click here and make sure I'm all the way over. And I'm going to uh, place six uh, 
the carriage returns here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on the seventh here, I'm going to paste in all of those names. Great. So then I can just deselect, and there we go. We have all of those titles. Now I want to copy this over to this side of the um, the the title here. So I'm going to hold down my Alter Option key again. I'm not using the hotkey Commander Control C because I don't want to crash Premiere. So I'm holding down my Alter Option key. I'm going to drag it straight over. Hold the Shift key, and you can constrain those perfect proportions just like that. And then what we'll do is we'll align this to the left like so. I'm going to just go ahead and save this here because Premiere could literally crash at any minute. Uh, I'm going to nudge this to the right just like one, two, and then I'm going to select my text over here and nudge it one, two. Um, what we could do is we could select both text fields and we could align the whole bit here using this sort of center align and it's going to align it perfectly to the center of our entire title. And now basically all we need to do is go in here to the right side and replace this with those names. So I'm going to jump back over to text edit, grab my first set of names, great, double click, highlight that, just simply paste it in place, wonderful. We'll come down here, grab all of these names, great. Come in here, select all those names, boom, whoops, we're one line up, so just enter a return to add a line. All right, so now that we've done that, we need to add the sort of little cast, you know, in order of appearance uh, in here to the middle. So I'm going to actually create a new type field for that, and I'm going to type out the word casting, and then enter a return here, open and close parenthesis, and just type in order of appearance. There we go. A couple things we want to do here to this. We can just drag it onto our, our area of working here. And I want to center align it. And I also want to center align it overall. So I'm just going to hit the little center align there. And then I'll just move it down. I, I want to have it actually touching the top of my text. And then I'm going to hold down my shift key and nudge upward seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, maybe I'll go an eighth time. There we go. And we have this sort of casting in order of appearance. Okay, great. I'm going to close, or I'm going to save uh, Premiere here. I'm going to close this title out for a second. I'm going to move my playhead out here to the black. That way we can see our title over the black as we're actually going to see it. So here's what we've got so far. We've got directed. We've got our casting stuff. Great. Everything looks good. Um, let's sort of speed along through this here. I'm going to... I'm going to duplicate both of these text fields. So I'm going to select one, hold down Shift, select the other, hold down Alt or Option, and drag straight down. And at, after I start dragging, I'm going to hold down my Shift key. All right, so there we go. And I'm going to drag down to like here. Okay, and you can see that our whole title is now, it's going to kind of allow us to scroll through it almost as it's going to, as it's going to be scrolling. Um, and what I want to do first and foremost is duplicate the casting here. So I'm going to hold down Alt or Option and then hold down my shift key once I drag it, once it's sort of made that duplicate, drag it all the way down and then nudge it upward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and I can see like this gap between the top, well here, let me just type this out. This is going to say uh, crew, there we go. And actually I may need to drag this down again and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, something like that. So it's just kind of tucked in there nicely. Uh, what we may need to do is just move all this text block, this text block, and the word crew downward a little bit more because this space here should roughly be about this space here. I'm not doing anything mathematical here. We're just going to kind of eyeball it. So I'm going to drag it down to right about there. And now what we want to do is add our crew. Now if we go back, well let me save this real quick, and then let's jump back over to text edit. We have our crews, right? We typed out the word crew, uh, at, well we should probably say crews. We have our camera and our audio guys, so let's just highlight all of that, camera and audio. So I'm just going to highlight that. Go back here, I'm going to type, I'm going to double click on crew, I'm going to type out the word crews, great. Alright, now I'm going to come over to the side first, I'm going to double click. And I'm going to select all the text, and I'm just going to paste in camera and audio. Um, now, what I want to do here is I want to center align this. So I'm going to select all the text. And I'm just going to choose the center align option. Great. And I think I want to put three spaces. So I've got one, two, three total between the bottom of camera and uh, the top of audio. And I think also go to the end of the word camera and the end of the word audio and just enter a return once to add a little bit of space. So we've added those crews to that side. Now we're going to add our other two crews to this side. So our post-production and our design crews. There we go. And I'll just select all these guys, paste them in there. And we're going to do the same thing. Align center. Let's go to the end of post-production, enter a return. Add a couple more there, and then design as well. Now you can see there's a fifth person on camera. So the, then there's only four people in post-production. So maybe we'll add one more, enter a return there, just so audio and design are lined up. Just, I don't know, it looks a little bit nicer. There we go. 
And now I could go through just setting up and basically doing what we did on the top for all of the special thanks stuff, but I'm not going to I'm not going to waste your time making me watch that. Quite frankly, you've you've probably watched enough of me adding text as it is. But you can see you can just very quickly add and align your text um, with relative ease. And just, you know, if you feel like Cruise actually needs to go a little bit higher, and even though technically it probably doesn't, I just feel it feels right to go a little bit higher. Great. Um, and we have a rolling credit. So I can close this. We're going to come back in in just a second because we need to adjust the options. But check this out. We'll just drag it down here. Uh, we will drag it down if it lets me. And we'll just see this here. So we get to the end of our video. And boom, immediately it goes right to the credits. Now, they're obviously moving way too fast. We need to fix that. So, uh, well, and, and. You can see that everything just begins right on screen. So a couple things that need to happen. Let's double click on ending once more. And we want to go up here to do our roll crawl options. And these options are here for any title. And you could just create a plain old title and choose roll and then do exactly what we just did. So you don't need to do that whole, remember we went title, new title, rolling title. You, you can just create any old title and, and apply these rolling options to that as well. So I'm going to tick on a roll or have roll ticked on. I'm going to choose to start it off screen and also choose it to end off screen. This way the whole thing just just scrolls upward, you know, just like any movie ending credits uh, scroll would do. So we're going to choose OK here. We're starting off screen, ending off screen. So it means the whole thing is going to roll right on past us. There we go. I'm going to just make sure I save Premiere. Uh, and let's just watch this again. So it gets to the end of our video and boom, there go our credits. Now we have a decent number of credits and they fly right by. So how do I slow them down? Well, you slow them down. The easiest way to slow them down is just to extend the length of your credits. So let's extend them out quite a bit. And then we play it and you can see here, now we get this beautiful slow crawl of our credits just coming right up from the bottom. They look beautifully aligned, beautifully lined up. We've got nice, sharp typeface. Everything's capitalized. Everything's spaced just like we want it. You can see all this blank space here at the bottom. Let's get rid of that, right? Because now we've got all this extra scrolling happening uh, right here, all this blank space for nothing. So we can double click. And what we can do is come down here. All, what we're seeing is all of this extra space here at the bottom of these two lower text fields. So we can select both of those text fields and just move that box way up to there. And you can see automatically Premiere pushes the text down because technically right there is the end of our of our rolling credits and it knows that so what's going to happen is this bottom line needs to get up here off camera so to speak and then kind of the rolling credits will end so we can actually shorten the rolling credits a little bit and you can see here we scroll scroll through them I can speed it up here a little bit we scroll through them there's casting great cruise great and now it's just as you're going to see as soon as that goes off screen boom it's done so really, really nice little way. And by the way, you can just come in here to like video transitions, dissolve, cross dissolve, throw a cross dissolve on there if you like. And then you're gonna, your video is going to fade right out and your credits are going to fade right in beautifully as you would expect. So for adding credits to your video, your short film, your documentary or whatever you're creating in Premiere Pro, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Daniel Dodson, I'll catch you in the next one.